How's it going, everybody? It's Jeremy Marcotte with Geetro Fits, and tonight I am here to show you guys the next step in my Geet journey, and that is putting together an air intake system for a small engine. Now, the way that I did this tonight was I recorded myself putting the air intake portion together, and I also did a refresher video with the GEET reactor itself using my stubby GEET system. But I'm finding that my microphone is not picking me up, so I tried it this way. I'm hoping it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to my video here. All right, so here we go. Getting everything set up. This is the 6.5 horsepower air intake that I had put together. I used a ball valve. I used three half-inch close nipples and a half-inch T. Now, what you see in here, I'm using uh, the parts I have on hand to kind of explain what's going on, which is that brass piece and that elbow there. Okay, that's where the fuel line would come in, would be that brass in the elbow. The air is going to go in from the top or in this case it would be better to come in from the bottom that way everything's lined up with the reactor but that piece right there is an aluminum stock with holes drilled in it and a half inch nipple which I JB welded at this point I would highly recommend if you can get the tools get a tap and die set and then you just put everything together you put your half inch closes all along the T Connect your ball valve. The top of the intake will connect to the reactor line, which here we go, I'll bring in the stubby. This is my stubby reactor. I'll set it up real quick for you. All right, so what I was trying to explain is that You'll have your hot exhaust gas, and this line right here is representing the copper tube. So the hot exhaust gas goes down and out, while the cold fuel line comes up and feeds into the air intake system. And if you were paying attention, my air intake side was not facing the engine properly. <laughs> but it's super simple, guys. And here we go. I'm going to show you the one that I have on my gen set. This piece right here that I'm showing you is a custom built flange that I had made by my buddy Ron. It is a three quarter inch black nipple welded to a piece of carbon steel. Uh, I used a three quarter inch T. That's a really good welding job right there. And then some of the scraps I had kicking around the house which were half inch tubing. Uh, I've used a three quarter to half inch reducer with a brass elbow and a black, uh, excuse me, a brass connector piece, which says LP on it. It was the first time I'd ever seen that. But you line that up with your reactor right there. And again, bringing out the stubby so you guys see what's going on. And my representative copper tubing. So copper tubing would connect those, and that goes right in. And there's my air adjustment which I will typically tell you I've put it behind uh, the carburetor. And here we go. We're going to show you a quick refresher on how to build a reactor for this one. I used three-quarter half-inch T's, three-eighths pipe with a three-eighths inch street elbow. And that pipe, I believe, is six inches long. Uh, the reactor is two three-quarter half-inch half-inch T's and a three-quarter inch close. Now for this reactor that is a three-eighths T. I'll use a three-eighths inch plug. Now what I'm trying to explain is you'll see I've got a couple of gaps there between that elbow and the T keeping it loose. So a couple of ways you can fix that with the larger systems is use the like for a one inch to three quarter nut, okay? And you would use that to adjust, and I'm 
hoping I transitioned properly. Yes, I did. Okay, so you would use those one inch to three quarter inch reducer nuts, and you would use those to adjust up and down to make sure that center pipe is in place, and then you JB weld around that. But the reason why we don't do any welding is because with the smaller engines, we test it out, make sure we get the proper size reactor. It's far enough away where it's not overheating. And uh, once you get it all nailed down, then you can start getting into the DOM piping or EDM tubing or whatever, and you can start making really clean, nice-looking reactor systems. But that was the down and dirty tonight for the air intake portion. I still have to show you guys the bubbler, which I will do that video tomorrow. Please, again, mind the mess. We are under construction after the recent Arctic temperatures that wailed on my house here in New Hampshire. Uh, we had wind coming up through the floorboards, so we just put down the subflooring. Your patience has been appreciated, and I hope this video was clear. Please send me feedback. I'm doing the best that I can with this GEET journey and showing you guys what I know, what I've been taught. And I can tell you right now, big things are coming. So keep coming and watching what we're doing, and I'll talk to you guys later. Good night.